Hey everybody, it's Jenny from Normanness Right. So the last video covered the refrigeration cycle and how it works. I thought I would build on that a little bit today and talk about DX systems versus chilled water systems. So let's get started. So first of all, what does DX mean? DX stands for direct expansion. It's basically the system that I showed you in the last video with the refrigerant cycle. And you can't talk about DX or chilled water systems without knowing whether they're air-cooled or water-cooled. So let's look at the four different systems, direct expansion air-cooled, direct expansion water-cooled, chilled water air-cooled, and chilled water water-cooled. So let's start with the DX air-cooled system. It's called direct expansion because we use the expansion compression of the refrigerant to produce cooling. And it's called air-cooled because we use a fan to draw air across the condenser to cool the refrigerant. It's basically what I drew in the last video, so let's pull this up here now. So here you can see, this is the DX part of it, and this is where it's air-cooled. Okay, next let's look at DX water-cooled. Now it has the same components in our refrigeration cycle, so let's start by drawing the basic components first. We have our evaporator, our compressor, our condenser, and our expansion device. Okay, next let's draw in our refrigeration lines, and then let's label our condenser water-cooled. The difference here is that instead of using moving air across the condenser to cool the refrigerant, you use water. In a water-cooled system, you also need a cooling tower. Now let's draw in the water loop. The water that is heated up in the condenser travels into the cooling tower. This water is sprayed into the top of the cooling tower. The cooling tower has a fan to draw air across water from the condenser. This causes some of the water to evaporate and cool and the cooled water falls to the bottom of the tower. And then that water goes back to the condenser to start the process all over again. Okay, so let me label this. Hot refrigerant is going into the condenser and coming out as cooler refrigerant because it's being cooled by the water from the cooling tower. So let's move this over. And now let's look at the next system, chilled water air cooled. So let's draw in our basic components of the refrigeration cycle again. In this system, the condenser is air-cooled and works just like the first system. Let's draw a fan on this and label it. But instead of the evaporator cooling down the supply air, it cools down water, which is then sent to a cooling coil which cools down the supply air. The supply air transfers its heat to the cooling coil, which warms up the water and the water travels back to the evaporator to be cooled down again. Okay, let's move this over and look at the last system. Chilled water, water cooled. As you can guess, this system has a chilled water system we just mentioned, coupled with a water cooled condenser and cooling tower that we mentioned before as well. So again, let's draw in all of our basic components, as well as the water coil for the chilled water system, and pipe it all up. And now let's draw in the cooling tower for the water cooled part of the system, and pipe that up as well. Okay, let's bring all of these back on screen so that you can look at all of them at the same time. In a DX central air conditioning plant, the air used for cooling the room is directly chilled by the refrigerant in the cooling coil of the air handler. In a chilled water central plant system, the chilled water is piped to the air handler to supply the cooling. So the refrigerant is cooling the water and then the water is cooling the air. I'll discuss each of these systems in future videos. So there you have the basics of DX and chilled water systems. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for watching.